Forget Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, or Elon Musk. Meet the real self-made millionaire and the hair care queen to boot, Madam C.J. Walker. Welcome back to Black History Month year-round. Today, in honor of International Women's Day, we're celebrating an incredible woman, Madam C.J. Walker. This tribute isn't just about hair products. This is about a woman who built an empire from nothing and changed the lives of countless black women along the way. Humble beginnings, born. Sarah Breedlove on a Louisiana plantation in 1867, just two years after slavery ended, her life was marked by difficulty. Her life would be one shaped by immense hardship and the unending pursuit of resilience. For young Sarah, tragedy struck early. By the age of seven, Sarah was orphaned, robbed of the comfort and security of her parents. Seeking escape from a difficult home life, she married at the tender age of 14. Her first husband would die only two years after the birth of their daughter. After marrying Charles Joseph Walker in January 1906, she would rename herself Madam C.J. Walker. Madam C.J. Walker perfectly embodied the Maya Angelou quote, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. Hair loss and opportunities. Sarah, like many black women of her time, suffered from scalp issues and hair loss. She would later be quoted as saying that her pursuit to care for black women and their hair was not just about vanity, this was about health and dignity. Many black women faced limited access to products that were safe and effective for their hair texture. Harsh chemicals in mainstream products often caused further damage. For many black women of her era, societal pressure to conform to Eurocentric beauty standards led to feelings of inadequacy and shame around natural hair. Madam C.J. Walker's journey started with her own struggle. It's been said that necessity is the mother of all invention. Due to her own struggle with her hair and limited and oftentimes dangerous hair care options, Madam Walker began to experiment with home remedies. Then she later worked for Annie Malone, another black hair care entrepreneur. But Sarah had bigger dreams. In fact, some would say that she had an entire vision for what she saw as the future for black women's hair care and a successful business. She saw a gap in the market products truly designed for black women's hair needs. The Walker system, Madam C.J. Walker's Walker system, was a revolutionary hair care regimen, product line, and marketing system she developed specifically for African-American women. Here's what made her system unique. The Walker system included different components, including scalp preparation, specialized products, including wonderful hair grower, her famous pomade created to stimulate hair growth and treat scalp conditions. Glossine, a pressing oil for shine and manageability. And vegetable shampoo, which was a gentler alternative to harsh soaps that were common at the time. Although Madam Walker didn't invent the hot comb, she did incorporate it into her system. It was used with her products to temporarily straighten hair for specific styles, although Walker emphasized healthy hair over permanent straightening. Madam Walker was a marketing genius. Walker truly shined as a natural showwoman. She tirelessly traveled the country conducting public demonstrations, showcasing dramatic before and after results on herself and volunteers. Door to door, she connected with women in their homes, building trust while proving beyond a doubt that her products worked. Walker understood the power of community and economic empowerment. She trained a vast network of Walker agents, primarily black women who sold her products door to door and taught her method to customers. This provided economic opportunity and spread knowledge on hair care throughout black communities. It's worth noting that unlike other products at the time, Walker's system prioritized the overall health of the scalp and hair as the key to growth and beauty. The Walker system addressed specific challenges faced by black women with their hair. It also fostered a sense of pride and agency within this community due to its tailored approach. 
Another notable and revolutionary part of her system was Madam C.J. Walker's emphasis on building a sales force of black women. By doing so, she helped provide independence, social respect, and financial opportunities previously rare for black women, particularly in an era deeply marked by racial and gender discrimination. Walker didn't simply hand out products. She provided extensive training, not just in salesmanship, but also in hygiene, grooming, and business principles. Her conventions became motivational powerhouses where women could share experiences, find support, and gain a sense of belonging in a system built to uplift them. Building an empire and legacy by 1910, she'd moved to Indianapolis, Indiana. By November of 1910, her booming mail order business and salon success allowed Walker to buy a brick house on Northwest Street, but this wasn't just a home. By December, she was already planning to expand, adding rooms and dreaming of a factory, lab, and salon all under one roof. This ambitious vision would become the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company of Indiana, with Walker herself as the sole owner. Madam C.J. Walker did not build her empire alone. She had other talented and resourceful women who aided her in building one of the most successful companies of the early 1900s. One of those women was Marjorie Joyner. Marjorie Joyner wasn't just a salesperson for Madam C.J. Walker's company. She rose through the ranks to become the national supervisor of Walker's vast network of 200 beauty schools. The beauty schools weren't just about hair care techniques, but also about business training, financial independence, and instilling a sense of self-worth in women. One of the most noble and notable things about Madam C.J. Walker was her generosity. Walker didn't just get rich, she gave back. She funded schools like the Palmer Memorial Institute, the Daytona Normal and Industrial Institute, and the Tuskegee Institute. She gave to organizations like the YMCA and fought for anti-lynching laws. She used her platform to speak out about race and women's rights. It wasn't just hair care, it was about uplifting her community. Sadly, Walker passed away in 1919, but her company lived on, empowering generations. It's estimated that Madam C.J. Walker's estate was valued at around $600,000 in 1919. This translates to approximately $8, 10000000 million in today's dollars. At the peak of her business, Madam C.J. Walker employed thousands of people. The largest portion of her workforce was made up of sales agents, also known as Walker agents. Sources estimate between 20,000 to 40,000 sales agents throughout the U.S., Central America, and the Caribbean, not counting the women who worked in her beauty schools or manufacturing headquarters. In an era of segregation and limited opportunities for black women, Madam Walker defied expectations, blazing her own trail. Madam C.J. Walker didn't just sell products, she sold a belief that, with grit and determination, anything is possible. If you didn't know Madam C.J. Walker's name, I hope you do now. Let's hear it for black female entrepreneurs, for black excellence, and for the woman who showed us all that beauty is a powerful business. Please like and subscribe to Black History Month year-round on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram.